All right, so I had gotten a request to do a review of the Aitman H45 trail camera, so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, there it is. Pretty good camera so far. I've used it quite a bit so far, so I'm impressed with it. But I'm just going to do a little overview and review of it and show you some of the footage that I've gotten with it and some of the pictures as well. Alright, so here's the camera. Uh, if you just open it up on the side here and then put your batteries in. This thing's kind of a pain. Get your batteries in there, your starters, and then put in your memory card. And from there you'll go to test mode down at the bottom here this switch and that to test mode and then from there you can go to your menu just by hitting the menu button and go down to format your card first thing just go to format hit ok yes ok I'm not gonna format mine because I do have footage on this that I've taken recently and once that is formatted, then you can go back up and choose um, what you want to do. This is video mode that I have mine on. You can choose camera, which is just pictures, or camera plus video, which I did do that a couple nights ago and didn't care much for it because it takes a picture and then two seconds later your video starts. So I wasn't impressed with that. I would rather just get the video and if I need to, I can take a screenshot on my computer of whatever picture I wanted. And then if you go down, you'll go to photo quality, photo size. I have eight megabytes, which is the highest quality it'll go. And then video size as well, 720p. Um, and then you can choose your video length if you have it in video mode. I have mine set for 60 seconds, which is plenty for filming small game and animals. And then from there you can have your timestamp on or off. I like to keep mine on so I know when animals are coming by. You can do time lapse mode, which is kind of cool. Um, then down here you can set your clock. It's year, month day and then I have mine set to military time as you can see there and that's pretty much it and from there if you hit menu it'll get you back to the screen and then if you want to play back something it has to be in test mode and I thought that was kind of confusing but test mode then you can then play back stuff Here's some footage from last night of a cat. OK is how you play it. Hit the OK button. OK to stop it as well. And then if you push up or down, you can then hit replay again and get back to this screen. Or you can hit menu. So if you hit replay, that'll show what footage you have on here. And then if you hit menu while in this screen, you can then delete that shot or all of them. And then from here, if you want to start filming stuff, you can hit shot to just take a picture or video. That'll start the video, so it is now filming, as you can see in the top corner here. And hit shot again to stop it. And if you push down here on this down arrow, that'll switch it to picture mode or up for video mode. So if I just push it down, it'll go to picture mode, and I can then take a picture. Picture taken. And then if you want to like just set it up to film animals or something passing by, you can then just switch it to on. And it'll give you five seconds before the screen shuts off. And then it's starting to record and do its thing. 
Overall, I'm really happy with this camera. Um, I've gotten some good shots, some footage of a fox that lives in the area and some cats. So I'm gonna show you that now. Thanks for watching.